Welcome to this video series focused on learning Microsoft Azure. This series is designed to get you up and running with Microsoft Azure quickly. If you prefer written documentation, the article for this topic can be found on my blog, which will be linked in the video description. This is part three, and we're going to be validating a custom public domain name so that I can be assigned to users as well as cloud resources. To start, I'm logged into my Azure portal, and I'm gonna go up to the top search bar and search for Azure Active Directory, and then press the Azure Active Directory service. And then once I'm here, I'm just gonna check I'm in the correct tenant. Then come down to the left and press custom domain names and then press add custom domain. On the right hand side, this is where you want to type in the domain that you want to add and then press add domain. You may get an error at this stage because your domain can only be attached to one Azure tenant at a time. And if it's already attached to a tenant, it'll tell you that it's already attached to a tenant and you need to unlink it from that tenant first before you can add it to this one. Once you're at this stage, you'll want to log into your existing domain provider and then create a new text record with the host name at and the value as this MS text here. Once that's been added, press verify and it will verify that you have ownership over the domain and it will validate in the portal. I'm just gonna add them now. Now they've been added, I'll just press verify. That's now verified that that text record has been added to the domain, proven I have ownership of it. And now I can just press make primary. If this isn't gonna be a primary domain and it's gonna be a secondary domain, you don't have to press that, but I'm just gonna press make primary. So that is my primary domain name. To check that it's been added correctly, if you just press the default directory at the top, come back to custom domain names, and you should see that it has been verified. Now, if we go to users, and we create a new user, we can see that the custom domain name is now here and we can create new users and resources using this custom domain name. 